Hello, in this video, we'll talk about how to dynamically generate Google Charts using Django. Although there are certain JavaScript packages which help you integrate Google Charts into your Django project, but they either support limited types of Google Charts, or they do not let you customize the Google Chart to full extent, or they are not free for commercial purposes. The technique I'll discuss in this video is free for both commercial and non-commercial use, does not require you to know JavaScript, it works for all types of Google Charts, and it lets you have full control over the Google Charts. I will upload all the codes I'll be using in this video tutorial on GitHub, and its link can be found in the description. Google Charts provide simple way to visually present your data in interactive and elegant manner. As you can see, Google Charts provide you with variety of options. So you can make geo chart, scatter chart, column chart, and whatnot. Towards the end of this video, you'll be able to make the scatter chart where the points are dynamically generated based on server side data every time you reload the web page. So if we reload the web page, the points, uh, new points are generated. These points are generated from the server side in a dynamic way. Once you understand the concept used in dynamic generation of this chart, you'll be able to apply the same concept to generate any other type of Google chart. So let me walk you through the concepts of dynamic generation of scatter Google chart. We'll click on rich calories and head over to the scatter chart. Where is it? Yep, here is it. So over here, yeah, so now it has reloaded. So over here, you can see that these points are generated based on hard coded values over here. But like I showed you towards the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to produce a Google chart where the location of these points will not be based on hard coded values, but on dynamic data provided from the server side. Now let's look at the structure of the Django project I'll be using for this tutorial. As I mentioned before, I'll put the complete Django project on GitHub whose link you can find in the description. So you don't need to worry about the code and you can peacefully watch the video and understand the concepts. I'm using Django 2.2. I have activated the virtual environment for this project. Currently I'm in the root directory of my Django project. And let me show you it in form of a tree. So you can see the project has been named Google Charts. And I have added only one app called Chartmaker to this project. And to this app, I have added a folder called templates, which contains all the HTML files we'll need for the project. We'll just need one. This is a simple project just to teach the concept. So we do not have anything hi-fi. And then I've also created a URL.py to manage the different views for this app. The views.py file of Chartmaker app, it currently only has one function, and that's this one. And this particular function is associated with this particular URL, which renders hello world HTML file on the project's homepage. Let's check that out. So, if we do and further, oops. So you can see you have a hello world written in your web page. We'll make a few changes to our code and display Google charts based on server side dynamic data in the home page instead of this hello world page. And every time someone will reload the home page, he'll see completely new set of points, which are dynamically generated from the server side. To do this, our first step will be to create a file, an HTML file called charts.html in our application folder. So let's do that. Let's go to our app. Let's navigate to the template directory. And once we have navigated to the template directory of our app, we will make a file called charts.html. 
HTML. And once we have done that, we will open charts.html right here. And in this charts.html, we will copy this code written in the Google Charts documentation. This code generates this particular chart. So we will just copy this whole code. And then we will paste it into the charts.html. And now that we have copied all this code to our charts.html, we'll try to understand what each line does over here. So over here, this particular line, it loads the Ajax API. This particular line over here, it loads the visualization API and call chart package. And then this particular line, it is a callback to run when the Google visualization API is loaded. And finally, this function, it is a callback that creates and populates a data table, initiates the scatter chart, passes in the data and draws it. If we go to our Chartmaker app and open the charts.html file we just created, then we will get this chart, which is same as what Google has in its documentation. And that's because we copied the code which is responsible for creating this chart. And if you copy this code in your HTML project at any place, then you will have this exact thing in your HTML file. But we do not want these points to be generated based on some hard coded values. We want these points to be generated from dynamic data, which will be supplied from the server. So to do that, we'll have to replace these hard-coded values, which create those points with variables, which will be supplied from the server side. So we will replace this particular array with, oh, I have more brackets than I need. Yep, it's fine now. Now I will, call the variable as values and I'll also have to add a safe filter. This is quite important because Django templates, it removes all the apostrophes and everything. And this safe, it uh, prevents Django templates from removing those apostrophe. So uh, we are basically instructing Django template to take the variables as they are. And then we will also replace the variables at other places. So instead of age versus weight comparison, we will call this age with oh, I don't need the apostrophe here I need the apostrophe here and here and then I'll have plus sign over here and a plus sign over here and I will put in H title we title so instead of uh, hard coded x versus y we now have a variable representing the name of the horizontal axis and a variable representing the name of the vertical axis and again these values will be acquired from the server side 
similarly we'll have to replace this age with this horizontal title and this weight with vertical title and we will remove these hard coded values of maximum and minimum we'll let google charts uh, decipher that on the basis of the values present so this looks fine and now i'll go to the views.py and over here i'll have to initialize a variable for horizontal axis so I'll be calling the horizontal axis as X and I'll be calling the vertical axis as Y and then I will create an array similar to this array but the array I'm about to create will not be hard coded it will be generated dynamically so what i'll do is i'll create an array which will have uh, 10 random values for x and 10 random values for y and i will keep those random numbers between 0 to 100 so what i'll do is i'll make an array called data so our list needs to be in this format. So we'll have the first list, list needs to show the name of the X and Y axis. So it will be HVAR and VVAR. And after that, I'll do something like for i in range 0 to 11. So basically, I'm trying to fill this array with 10 random values for x and 10 random values for y. And to generate 10 random numbers, we'll need to import and range yeah, that's perfect so over here we'll say data dot append and now we'll start filling these with and range with random numbers between 0 to 100. So I'll have to input 101 here. And the same thing. So now that we have our array, we'll have to feed this to the template. And before feeding to the template, we need to note that this all these variables inside this JavaScript needs to be in form of a JSON string. So all these values have to be JSON string. But Python over here, it has generated Python objects. So we'll have to convert Python objects to JSON strings before feeding it to the Google chart. We'll be using json.dumps to convert Python objects to JSON strings. So let's do that. So we'll first convert this hvar to a JSON string. Let's call that hvar json. It will be equal to json.dumps. 
custom and then we'll have hvar similarly we'll have vvar json equals to json dot points now we'll also have to convert values into json strings for that we'll do JSON terms and then we will convert data to JSON strings using this particular line and finally we have all the three variables we need in form of JSON strings so now in the final step, we will render charts.html instead of hello world. So we will replace this with charts. And we'll also need to provide these variables. So for that, we'll have to do this and then we'll start providing each and every variable let's start with values so values you have to put apostrophe store Django syntax for this and this will be equal to modify data then we'll have Its title which will be equal to which were JSON and finally we will have the title which will be equal to we are JSON. Oh, we are not done yet. This is a type. And I noticed that there's one more thing we need to change, and that's we have an apostrophe here, which is not required. It'll lead to error. So I'll delete this as well. And here we go. And now that we have completed all our codes, we'll fire up the Django development server. We'll write Python manage.py and then run server. And here we go. And as soon as we load our page, we have a completely dynamically rendered Google chart. All these points are generated based on server side values and every time we update the web page we have completely new set of points based on the updated server side data so that was all for this video i'll be uploading all the codes on github as i said earlier and i'll comment all the lines so that it's easier for you to follow and understand everything that was all for this video. In case this video helped you save some time, then please hit like and subscribe. Thank you.